Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil, we're here at Father Phil and in today's video we are going to go through, well Father Phil's going to go through all the number plates that he has kind of stuck up on the wall. So there's years worth of buying and trading in tractors here. Horse trading. Horse trading, so we're going to take them down, lay them out and Father Phil's going to through them all and let you know what every one of them was behind and, and what tractors and the stories and whatnot. If I can remember. Yeah, if he can remember. I didn't manage to get them in one go. No, where do you want to go with them? Um, that's the very first one. The very first one. The very first thing you shumble pit that I ever owned. LFW 93Y. 2720. That was the 2720's number plate. That's 2720's number plate. Put them back up. One on the wall. Yeah. One on the wall is the 6290 with the front suspension. Yeah. Yeah. SA 52 BB. BBE. K401 DLS. That was a 1395. I bought in Howard Fulton. It's the first tractor I ever bought half Howard Fulton. 1395. Shift. And in probably 00 or 01. K785 CSR. Massey 32 combine that burned. Oh, that was the 32 combine. I took the number plate off it before it went. Yeah. R781 YEE. That's the big, that's the 38. That's the 38. So this is the number plate of the combine that we use currently, the Massey 38. VPR 735S. 594 wheel drive. I'm 99% sure that was the 8120. Which one of them? First one was bought. The first one? Mm -hmm. Not the one that come from Furby's, was it? No. No, that one came out of... Um, that one came out of... Ellis's. Ellis's. Jim, Jim Ellis's in Warwickshire, in, in Gaten in Warwickshire. 865 NRU. 7610. Sprayer. Oh, the sprayer? Yeah. Wouldn't have been awful lot of Northern Ireland tractors. Yeah. That's one. Uh, 6270. Oh, there's 6270. That's is that the one for instance? That's mm. no, that's one we still have. Yes, well, 6480. Oh, that's a 6480. It was an ordinary tractor as well. Yeah, why well, it, it started off its life on the caravan park. Yes, a bit of a tractor. All right, the, the, the first 6290 we owned. Yeah, still have it. The one with 28,000 hours, the piping tractor. And there's this car somewhere. Um, 460 CFE. That's the 3075. Correct. Because it has chandlers Chandler. on it. She came through chandlers. Yeah, and we have the 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 sticker is still on the 3075 for chandlers. SP03 DLE. Ricky and Penrit. That's the 6270 with the front links that we traded in. All right. Again, the 6499. Correct. <coughs> V208 ESH. That tractor, this year. the 6290 that's still in the shed. That was the JCB loading shovel that we bought, the wooden reverse. Yeah? Before we bought the... Veneery. Veneery. That was the number off our... Right. That's the number plate, that's off the tractor that got the burn. The 8120? No, oh. the 6180. 6180 that went in front of me. Hmm. We were grinding here in the yard and she went up in fire. And that number plate got, you can see it, it got the... Yeah, it got, it got the, the heat. What was the it? The, it was the dust on the back of the tractor you were milling. We were milling and we were doing a job on the mill. And it, it wouldn't feed in the grain. Yeah. Then we went grinding new slots in the, in the, in the mill. And it lit the bloody dust on the back of the tractor. Yeah. Or a bit of a panic for That was the one where the diesel tank had started to... Started, the diesel tank had just started ever so slightly to... to a droop. Yeah. I put a new tank in her and I changed the number plate on the back of her. There was very little damage done. I mean, that just got the heat of the flame. Yeah. <coughs> There's probably four or five tractors or more. That were traded back up into the north. Back up into the north, back into Fulton's or, or Harris or wherever. Yeah. Nothing really spectacular about the number no, plates now. Just number plates. If someone asked, can you go through all the number plates? And no, there, you, done there you are. That's, that's the number plates. And as I'll you. Probably, both take the half of what we had. Yeah. But oh. see, we always ended up, I, I purposely went, I said this to a few people during the pumpkin patch this week, I purposely went to buy 
one time a 62.90 in the south. Yeah. I really did. I, we went this time of the year. I needed to buy a tractor. I wanted a tractor. It was a straight deal. Yeah. There was no thread in. And we said, right, we'll go and we'll see, can we get one in the south? I'd done four or five garages. Yeah. They were rough. Yeah. They were, no offence to the garages in the south, but they were rough. Yeah. And we were buying tractors off the likes of Howard Fulton or that, that were clean. Yeah. They were um, four or five thousand hours on them, uh, coming off tillage farms. This, yeah. ten, this is ten now. 10, 15 years ago now. Yeah, because they were... Well, these, these, them, tra like, them tractors now are 20 plus. Yeah, and we were buying them when they were... Five year old. Yeah. Five, six year old. Yeah. With four or five thousand hours on the clock. And we just couldn't get one. Yeah. We just could not get one. We, you could get one, but there was no mirrors on it. There was... The seat was falling off it. The seat was broke. Or the good one about um, if you put it in new, if you put in gear and oh, put yeah, in neutral. There was one. There was one. You didn't have to put in gear at all. It just kept yeah. driving on you. It was. It was one of the things with the sixty twos. <coughs> you could check the, out. The, you could check out the packs in them. Yeah, if you put it into gear, and put the Ford oh. the 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 shuttle into neutral and then rev rev the shay over and see does it start creeping forward. She started to creep. Yeah, and if she started to creep, then that means she was pulling on one or other packs. Yeah, it shouldn't move. The handbrake off, in first gear, in neutral, in the shuttle, yeah. on the 62, she should not move. Yeah. But if she starts to move, there's a pull on the pack. Yeah. And that's not good. And, yeah, I think two or three of them have done that. Yeah. Um, so we just ended up, I, I, we ended up going up and we bought, uh, wasn't that one, no? The first one we bought was the 6290 on the, on the, on the pump. I, I know, it wasn't that one. Was it that one? Maybe it was that tractor. Could have been that tractor we bought. For a while. We went up at that time. That time I was buying the tractor. Yeah. I went up. And it, it, it could have been that one we bought. I sure thought that tractor was immaculate. And it still is. Still is. <laughs> still is. We were soft having a good rest. As I, as I, I, I might have said it on video before, but I remember five years ago and that tractor still on the go looking at the mug guards and the mug guards. I was like, yeah, they're not. They're just starting to rust up a little and they were the worst mug guards we have. And... Well, now they're the best mug guards we have because they spent the last nearly yeah, that five years in the shed. Yeah, that tractor, 12 years. That tractor. I'd say I must have, yeah. I'd say I must have. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say I must have. It could have been that one now. Well, I know when we went up. It probably was that one. We looked back, she should buy a 6280. Yeah, and that one was. And was, she, was, she, she, was, she, was, she was. She was creeping. She was creeping. I remember going up with you for that. She was rough. Yeah. And that one, I, he wasn't even there that day. And I rang him, and that one was a few quid more. Yeah. And uh, we, I think that, that's the tractor we must have bought that time. It yeah, really had to be. Because I bought the 62 with the front suspension after. You bought that in 2012, wasn't it, with the 6480? Both tractors were bought pretty much the one day, if I remember <coughs> rightly. 62. The 6270 was bought the one that's there now. Yeah. It was bought first. And, and we looked at the one with the front links the same day. Yeah, and we bought it. We bought one in the harvest, and we bought the other one in the spring. Yeah, and it was bought. The one in the spring was bought along with the sixty four eighty because he was telling us that day about the sixty four eighty coming in with nearly. Oh, it was six hundred hours. Six hundred hours, and the yeah. plastic was sitting in the seat. Yeah, and um, when he came in, it must be later on that year we went up and we done the deal about it, and there was a big massive book, which was a huge bucket on it, but he had the buckets out of someone. Yeah, and um, we traded in two tractors that time. What did we trade in? Which was traded in eighty one. An 8120 and that 6180 with a jumpy clutch. Well, yeah, with the jumpy clutch. That, that was on the umbilical system before oh, the 6290 that. that's on it now. We had the 6180 on the system. And you changed the clutch now, and the clutch afterward yeah, you, was. I, it was it was always jumpy, hot or cold. Yeah. It was, you, you couldn't put hat on. You'd, you'd, be, you'd be on your knife edge with, with somebody in case you hurt someone. Yeah. Because she just, there's no such thing as moving an inch, you'd move six inches. Yeah. And I took it all asunder here one summer before we started silage and I put a whole new front um, it was an electric forward and reverse. Yeah. It's so it a bad had, one. It had the, the whatever way the pack was done, there was a new bevel spring put into it. Yeah. Put all the bits into it new and put it all back together and drove it out and it was absolutely lovely. Where you could inch it into anything, smash it till she got hot. Yeah. And once it got warm, well it'd break your back. Yeah. It was the greatest <clears throat> cockadoodle do of a yoke I've right come across. <coughs> we worked with it for about a year and I got rid of it. Yeah. And that was in 2010 or 12, 10 or 11. Yeah. Them two were bought in 12. And sure, we must have the 
We watched the 62 with the, with the front suspension shortly after that. So that was the, la- that was the last track. We haven't got tackled in for a long time. Long time. Not a long, long time. time. And, uh, and, and look, we no matter what we do now, but we're not doing anything for the moment. But no. Tractors no. now have got to be very expensive. Yes, very expensive. It's a matter now of like, you, you looking know, after it, what you have. Yeah, it's like what you said. We were buying them at four and five year old for... 17 or 18,000. Pound. Pounds. Now, if you go out to buy... Uh, four or five year old tractor so you'd be looking at 76 you'd be looking at the guts of 50,000 60,000 a friend of mine was here today and he's looking at an 18 tractor yeah what's that three year old three year old that would be very fresh now yeah where what we'd be buying and it's, it's up in the 80s 80s yeah it's up in the 80s that, that just goes to show you at one time a five year old tractor was Relatively speaking, small money. Well, you were buying them under twenty grand. Yeah, yeah, under twenty. And all them, all them sixty two was all bought under twenty grand yeah. sterling. And, and whatever the money exchange was, would have left them over. Over it, but under they twenty were all sterling. Under twenty. Yeah. Every one of them. And the the the, the pipe and tractor, the, that sixty two ninety, we've had a long time. I bought that for fifteen and a half. Yeah. And you nearly get it for today. Oh, you would. You would with twenty eight thousand hours on it. I uh, well, you might, but <laughs> you get you get a lot of it. Yeah, the tractors are got incredibly dear. Yeah, it's incredible. It, it just it just go, it just goes to show. Work. So it does, and it, it is one of the reasons <coughs> why we can't <coughs> upgrade the fleet like we were well, at we one stage. Yeah, but they they were so good. Yeah, it's very hard that to move. The, that was very hard to move thing. away from them. That was the next big thing. Yeah, like if you were a sixty one, seventy. 80 or 90 yeah and moved to a 62 the difference in the two tractors was unreal yeah the, the electrics was way better you had their forward reverse shuttle yeah you had a lot of things that even 20 years later they still haven't made any better really yeah you know you still have the forward reverse shuttle it still is the forward it, it's still the same it's still similar now, similar, different yeah. gearbox you know she's changing the gear now electronically yeah but it's still the same still four gears in her yeah there's only six there's six there's six changes on the packs with the Dyna six. Yeah. But there's still four major Split gears. Yeah. You know. But um yeah, the difference in them sixty ones and sixty twos with a friend a lad we were buying parts off um in Carl's engineering, he told me, he says, Get sixty twos, he says, You never look back and so we got the sixty twos and we never bought anything else. No. We never bought anything else. Until we bought the sixty four and ninety nine. Well that was because of circumstances we need something that needed front links with more power yeah and you couldn't have bought a better tractor no, no. Uh, it's, it's it's going 100 percent for us i do <coughs> touch wood we've had no issues with it this year touch wood huh? no issues at all this year we had a few issues with it last year nothing major but this year no no but robert done a great job and yeah. he serviced it up and that touch was was wasn't wasn't yeah. that great and that was from someone changed the switch i never readjusted I didn't, uh, didn't readjusted on the on the tractor's own yeah. electronics I think on that we're going to leave it at that for today's video. Um, I might have to sit down and edit this one a bit. But look, again, as I said in the last one, we're in the middle of the pumpkin patch and content. I did. I had nothing in the backlog to keep me going for this. Nothing in the week. back pocket at all. Yeah. So uh, we're making them as we need them. This is this is Wednesday night, and he needs this for tomorrow. Per, yeah. And then sun- another hot bun. Sunday's video then is yeah, going to be on I, on the pumpkin you patch. Should have been the baker. Yeah. Sunday's video is going to be on the pumpkin patch, and then we'll be getting back into. I suppose the run of the things we will hopefully now after the pumpkin patch we get to spend more nights in here and get back into yeah, well, we'll get to get getting ready. things sorted. But yeah, look, yeah, before yeah, before, before we make this another five minutes longer, we're going to leave it at that for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We filled out a request of a viewer. What's the number plates? We'll also give you a bit of story time on the 62s and how the price of tractors <coughs> has changed yeah, over just, the last. When you think about it, it's mad. 15, 10 years. So the last five years. Five years. Last more, five, five more years even. Years. But look, we we'll leave it at that for today's video. Hope you found it interesting. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That is it from us. Good luck. <laughs>